Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to the Cook Plant and Decor channel. And if you are visiting me today, just passing by, welcome. And you have my friendly invitation to stay, be part of this family. Subscribe to my channel. Today I have a special invitation for you all. Guess what? I was searching for some good furniture for my home, something that is different, but also high quality. And I get across, I think, in my opinion, the perfect one. The name is regencyshop.com and they have discount right now. And if you enter this code here from Cook Plant and Decor, you get an extra 5% discount. Okay, my friends, let's don't wait anymore and let's buy a perfect piece of furniture from regencyshop.com. They will deliver it to your home. And remember to enter this code from Cook Plant and Decor so you can get an extra 5% off on your purchase. Okay, and after shopping, it's time for cooking. I am ready to make some meatballs. So let's go to the kitchen and chop some cilantro and green onions. And I just chop one sweet pepper for more color and also flavor. And to make my meatballs, I have ground beef, but you can have pork, lamb, or even you can mix all together and will be delicious anyway. I just add one tablespoon of North seasoning and one tablespoon of chili paste. Now it's time to put our hands in there, wear gloves and give massage, massage until we are ready to make the meatballs. I am adding one egg. I like to add one egg per pound. So it's one pound here, one egg. These meatballs are so delicious, are healthy and also easy to make. So don't miss it up because your kids will love it. My son, he asked me for it. Now it's time to add some unsalted crumb bread. I am ready to make the meatballs and to make it easier, I'm going to add some olive oil to my hands. Okay, I'm ready to make the first bowl and I'm gonna get a little portion here and I'm gonna make a little bowl with my hands. Now I'm going to place all my meatballs in this cupcake tray, but before that I'm going to spray some of the olive oil and here they are and they're going to the oven. And they're going to be roasted at 400 Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. Now I'm making the sauce. In a fry pan, I am adding olive oil, garlic, and onion. I just added one tablespoon of North Seasoning Chicken Flavoring and I'm going to add now one teaspoon of brown sugar. And we're gonna be stirring and stirring, mixing all the flavor until we are ready to add the tomato sauce. Here we have today virtually olive oil and garlic. You can eat it just like that. But of course, at Cook Plant and the Core Kitchen, we make it even better. 
add, we add it to our sofrito. I just add a little bit of nor tomato seasoning for more color, but it's not necessary. So I'm just gonna let it start to boil, and as soon as I see that, I'm going to be adding the meatballs, which I'm gonna be cooking there for a few minutes, just look at the flavor, and everything together will be an amazing plate for today. So get your child ready, sit him on the table because he will enjoy it. Now I'm cooking the pasta. I'm doing this, like cutting the pasta this way because my son likes it like that. But you, of course, don't have to do it. You just do it the way that you like it. And adding some onion for flavor. So I like when the pasta cook, I don't like to leave it just plain with the water. I like to add onions and a little bit of salt. So when it came out of the hot water, it has some flavors too. And it's time for plating, and it's time para disfrutar esta rica comida. It's simple, but está muy rica. It's very simple, but it's so flavorful. And I know my son gonna love it. I am adding cheese, gouda, because this is the one he like. And of course, everything is homemade and the way that he like it. And adding some fresh tomato and some fresh cilantro. And it's time to eat. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you for being with me. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe, how Nathan enjoyed. And uh, see you in my next video. Remember to subscribe to my channel and follow me. Go to Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and visit my website, Cook Plant and Decor. You're going to find a lot of more recipes there. For today, I just say bye bye. See you in my next video. And remember, Cook Plant and Decor and be happy.